Hi viewers, welcome to our YouTube channel Electrical Lectures. Latex is the most widely used tool to create technical documents. Many people can create basic documents using Latex, but when it comes towards creating some complicated tables and mathematical equations, they are stuck. So in this video, I will be going to resolve this problem for them. I will be showing you how to create multi-column and multi-row tables. This is a sample table that we are going to create. You can see in this table, there are three rows which are merged together. This is called multi-row. And vertically, you can see that we have got four columns that are merged together. This is called multi-column. So we will see how to create this kind of table. For creating basic tables in LaTeX, you can see our previous video. So we will start with this basic document structure. The first point that you should note is that you have to use two packages in order to create multi-row and multi-column table. And these two packages are multi-row and the second one is HH line. Now we will move towards the document structure and table structure. After begin document, this is the basic table structure. We have to incorporate multi-row and multi-column after this command, which is begin tabular. In this particular table, we have got five columns, among which four columns need to be merged. So first of all, we need to write the number of columns. And the method to write multi-columns is like this. You will use this command. These are the four columns that we need to merge and another separate column. After that, we will have to use H line or horizontal line. And then we will specify the content of the multi-column. You can see from this PDF that the first entry of the first column is empty. So we will use AND sign here because AND sign is a spacer for different columns. And then we will use the command multi-column. Inside multi-column, the first thing is the number of columns that you need to merge. In the next curly brace, you will write C. And in the last curly brace, you will write the content of the merged columns. Let's say I want to write here column. And then this is the new line operator. After that, we will place a horizontal line by the command H line. And then if you see the PDF, we need to write the contents of the five columns. These are the five columns, C1, C2, C3, C4, and C5. So we will write C1 separator c2 and so on and followed by the new line operator and then again a horizontal line after that now here comes the next three rows first of all in the first row nothing is written in the first entry so we will leave the first entry as it is and just write an and sign and then the contents. For example, all the contents are X and we have to write it four times because there are four columns. Remember, we will use H line command if we want to place the complete horizontal line like the first one, second one and the third one. But for the next one, we do not want to have the complete horizontal line. Instead, the first entry has to be skipped. The method to do this is to use H H line and inside the argument will specify this sign for the skipped horizontal line and then this hyphen for the horizontal lines. We have to use four hyphens because there are four columns. So this number of hyphens will be equal to the number of merged columns. And then now this row where we have to write row in the merged multi row. So for this, we will use the command multi row, multi row, and inside multi row, and in the first curly brace, you will write one, in the second one, you will write just static, and in the third one, you will write the content row. And next, after writing row, you can see next we have to write y four times for this particular table. So y four times we need to write y and then new line. 
After that, we will use again the same horizontal line syntax. So we will copy paste here. And finally, in the last line, we just need to write four times Z. But remember, we need to skip the first entry. This is Z, 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 and Z. And then the new line operator, followed by the complete horizontal line. So for this particular table, the syntax is complete and we need simply to run it. So we run from here and you see the target table is generated in the desired format. So in this way, you can create multi-column and multi-row tables in LaTeX by using this simple and straightforward method. So hope this video will help you a lot. Thank you for watching this video and stay tuned to our channel, Electrical Lectures.